What does a person see during the last weeks before death? In April 1999, American doctor Christopher Kerr witnessed an event that would change the course of his career. One of his patients, Mary, was lying in her hospital bed, surrounded by her four adult children and nearing death when she began acting strangely. The 70-year-old sat up in bed and began moving her arms as if she were cradling a baby she couldn't see. She named him Danny and appeared to hug and kiss him. Her children couldn't explain it because they didn't know anyone named Danny. The next day, Mary's sister arrived at the hospital and explained that Mary had given birth to a stillborn son named Danny before her other children. The pain of this loss was so great that Mary never spoke of her dead child again. Kerr, who was originally trained as a traditional doctor, specializes in cardiology and also holds a Ph.D. in neuroscience, found this case so unusual that he decided to change direction and devote himself to studying the experiences of dying people. What appeals to the patient appeals to those who love him, Kerr says. A feeling of peace. Now, 25 years after meeting Mary, Kerr is considered one of the world's leading experts in the study of the visions and dreams people experience as they approach the end. He says these experiences usually begin in the weeks before death and increase in frequency toward the end. Kerr says he has witnessed people reliving important moments in their lives, as well as seeing and talking to mothers, fathers, children, and even pets who died several years ago. For patients, the visions seem real and intense, and usually bring a sense of peace. These relationships often return in very meaningful and comforting ways that validate the life lived, and thus reduce the fear of death, Kerr told the BBC. Kerr insists that these patients are not confused or incoherent, and that while their physical health deteriorates, they remain emotionally and spiritually present. However, many doctors see this phenomenon as a hallucination or the result of confusion and say that more scientific research must be conducted before we can reach a conclusion.